Yo, yo, what's good? It's JC Flores, a.k.a. Party Life Music, right here for DJClasses.com. And in today's tutorial, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to explain, like, the basics of, like, intro and outro. Like, why you would want to make a DJ intro and outro, um, especially when it comes handy when you're mixing from one song to another um, in your sets. And you need it, and you can't find it, so, you know, how do you go about doing it? Um, so hopefully, um, you know, this video will kind of explain that. Um, and if you guys have any further additional questions, please comment below. Hit us up at djclasses.com. Um, and be sure to watch uh, this, this, this video in entirety um, just because at the end there's actually some bonus stuff that you get to find out. So it's really dope. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and dive in. Um, so I'm going to set the timer up. Uh, hopefully this should take about 8 to 10 minutes. Um, and here we go. All right. So first things first is uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up Ableton. Um, and once you do that, um, I kind of already labeled um, everything out. So what we're going to do is, um, you know, uh, I'll go ahead and just kind of, you know, turn this off and I'll hide this uh, for right now. Um, and what I did was is I set up this right here, which is kind of like a cue point in Serato, um, but this is just letting you know where you are in the song whenever you're making like an intro and outro edit. And so the song that we're going to work with today um, is Sencillo featuring Keachi, um, and it's called Tentativa, and this is actually an official remix um, that I produced for the artist that you can find on Spotify, on iTunes, um, so any feedback would be greatly appreciated. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll just redo this from scratch. So uh, I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to drag that out right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find the first downbeat, which we can see is right here. So this yellow point is basically letting you know that this is where the downbeat of the song starts. Or like the first cue point in um, Serato on your song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it and I'm going to tell Ableton this is where the first song on the first downbeat on the first measure starts. 1.1.1. Set that right there. Uh, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it again um, and then I'm going to say Ableton I want you to warp this song here straight all the way through. So I'm going to do that. So as you can see, everything that I already have warped, it's gone uh, because it's just like I just re-warped it from scratch. Um, so once I do that, um, now I'm going to kind of go in here and see where it's like missing or it, like it's kind of going off grid. It doesn't look like it's going off grid yet, but I'm just going to kind of tidy it up a little bit. Now the great thing is, is that these little white lines that you see here are like a bunch of cue points or in Ableton is called transients. Now I'm not an Ableton certified instructor but this is just kinda like what I've learned you know watching videos myself and figuring it out. Uh, so here at the 17 um, it was a little bit off so we're gonna go and jump to the 25th um, and basically how I knew how to jump there and skip all this other stuff is that 17 plus 8 is 25 so it's basically every 8 bars. So I'm sure you could imagine on the next one, if you take 25 and you plus 8 to that, add 8 to that, it'll jump to 33. That's right. And we'll do 41. And see, the great thing about this is that once you warp this, you could basically move the song anywhere on the timeline on Ableton. Um, so let's see. Let's hear how this sounds. <laughs> So right there, we just got to move that over. So. so now it's back on grid. Um, and then we'll go uh, maybe 70. And now we'll go here to 85, move that over. And then 89. All right, there you have it. Now you basically have a warped song. Um, now on later videos, I'll spend more in depth, um, you know, going over like the fundamentals of warping, at least on how I go about using it. Um, but hopefully, you know, you kind of get an idea uh, of where I'm going at. Um, so for today's video, we're just going to leave this on complex. 
And the reason why we leave it on complex is so it doesn't pull like the most resources out of the song. Um, and so now if we move this anywhere like on the grid, um, let's just say I'll play this right now. See, and it's on point. So that's pretty good. Uh, since I've already created an intro and outro for my own remix, um, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this. Move this over here and move, cut that out and move that over here. And just pretend like this is just a regular song and I have the instrumental. Right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, and I'm basically telling Ableton, because this is also warped already. So if we play it, and it's already on grid. If I move it here, still on grid. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to just place this over where I labeled intro and outro. So if we open that up and just minimize that and then I'll open symbols and then I'll just drag this down so you guys can see it. All right. So now I'm going to copy this and as you can tell I already have this place where intro is at so I'm just going to layer it over. Boom. All right. And then here. Um, on the outro is going to be the same thing. Boom. All right. Uh, last but not least, uh, something that I always like to do in my own intros and outros is I do like to kind of finesse it so it doesn't sound so um, cold, you know, like when it's fading into the actual song. So a great thing to, to a great tool to use is cymbals, uh, at least from personal experience. Um, I love to use cymbals because it just kind of helps um, finesse the transitions in between songs. So I'm basically going to my drag and drum sample library. Um, I found a symbol that I liked. So, so we're using that one. All right. So um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to drag that here and I'm going to drag that here. All right. Now the next thing that um, I would like to do is I'll open this up. I'll make sure that it's on complex. I'm going to set it again. Remember first downbeat. I'm going to set that there to 1.1 and then I'm going to tell Ableton, you know what? I want you to work right here from straight. Uh, same thing with this one. 1.1 set here from straight. Now if you get lazy, we all do. Um, it's perfectly fine to just hit copy, command C or control C in Windows. Command V or, or Control V in Windows to paste. And then I'm going to go here in the sample window and I'm going to tell Ableton, all right, I want to reverse it. Boom. So if we just play this back. See, there you go. And uh, I just want to kind of make sure. Okay, so it kind of, you heard that little pop. So we're going to just remove that. And I'll just move this here. So we play it again. Cool. Now you're not really going to hear that. It's not going to be that loud, you know, when you do that uh, for your intros and outros. So another thing I like to do too, is I like to lower the decibels, which is this here. And all I did was, is I clicked on that. I clicked on the second one. I held down shift. Then here, I'm going to go to the volume. I'm going to lower it probably about 11.9. So if I play it with the song, and there you have it, you know, because it, it adds this like finesse, like it just sounds very, very smooth. And that's something that you definitely want to do, you know, or I encourage. I don't like to use effects when making intros and outros unless it's like a transition. But here, you know, for this purposes, symbols are usually a really good fit. It doesn't matter. Do you find a symbol that sounds great to you? So I'm going to just paste that again here. And if we go to the outro, let's play it from right there. And then there's your outro right there, guys. Um, so that pretty much sums up this uh, tutorial regarding intros and outros. Uh, on the next few tutorials, I will 
kind of explain more, especially like warping, um, acapella, how to make your own acapella intros and outros, um, you know, transitions, mashups, party breaks, all kinds of stuff. Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching. So be sure to um, log on to djclasses.com for the five free DJ tips that you're going to learn. Um, and then if you guys have any requests or something that you want to learn, um, you know, let, let us know. You know, just comment below, hit the subscribe button, give us a like. Um, and then if you know other DJs that are looking to make intros as well, encourage them to watch the video. So without further ado, guys, stay tuned. I will be coming at you real soon on the next few tutorials right here with DJClasses.com. My name is JC Flores, a.k.a. Party Life Music. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend.